DeFi IoT. Hey, well, let's talk a little bit about this re-education camp for Jordan Peterson. What does that mean if a government can come in, like the Canadian government, and say, you know, we don't like what you're saying, so we're going to force you to go through one of our re-education camps. Doesn't that sound like something that's going on in China? I think we should question things of that nature and question where our freedom of speech is since all of this lockdown stuff has taken place and this control for our health and safety and why this just continues to roll forward instead of just moving on. We seem to have adjusted, haven't we? Let's talk a little bit about what that means and what Stalin had said regarding certain things of this nature. Let's get into that in our video today. So I'm going to start out with one quote from Stalin, and I might have a few words wrong there, but one thing Stalin had said was this, is that it's not the votes that count, but who counts the votes that count. And then we're seeing that play out. I've seen it in 20 years of living in Latin America, with all due respect to Latin Americans, but the governments are corrupt. And that corruption has not just held itself now to Latin America, and it hasn't for years, but it, it's come out... You know, the past president of the United States really did bring that out. Whether you like him or don't like him, uh, I met him personally, and so I've got my personal feelings you know, about him. But um, the one thing he did do is he exposed the corruption that's taking place now in what we thought was the land of the free. And where we're actually now, the Twitter documents coming out showing where an FBI agent, a former um, head of legal staff of the FBI, takes a, a number two position at Twitter, prior to Elon Musk taking buying Twitter and taking over Twitter, and is then put in position of censoring what was allowed to be able to be seen by Twitter users. And there was a lot of information that's now rolling out. And ironically, a lot of the conspiracy theories and theorists are now being proven correct. And, you know, I'm not advocating we, we we jump off to the to the to extremes here but we do need to take in consideration that that should be troublesome to us and um I, we do need to do something about it and you know what do we do about it well we become active in writing our our, our representatives we become active in in, in the school parent teacher associations we become active in politics now is that easy to do no i know it and i've had a really hard time sitting down and doing it especially now since we've made this move we got all this come this this responsibilities of our home of of picking up of a home that's been run out for 15 years and trying to bring it up to speed with the rodents and so forth that are here and recently this morning another rodent attack three nights in a row on all of our new uh, groceries we had purchased and put in shelves and so it's it's difficult to find the time, but we need to. And if we want to maintain freedoms and freedom of speech, we're going to have to. Now look what's taking place with Jordan Peterson in Canada. First of all, Canada goes in and overthrows the bank accounts for these, these truckers, right? And not only just overthrew the bank accounts, but they are penalized. And a lot of these people lost their jobs, lost some even, from my understanding now, have lost their homes and are without work. And they're actually on, on like on a blacklist and people don't want to employ some of them. It's made it very difficult these people only because they want to stand up for freedom. We, we, we can't let that happen to us in America. They just can't. And in other countries, too. And, the, you know, and I would think I'm actually proud of other countries um, that are actually standing up more to rip for their freedoms and against, against tyrannical governments than you know, the Americans are. And here in America, I'm sorry, but we've become too complacent. We're too worried about... You know, making ends meet. And I think that's all part of the plan. Now, that's my personal opinion on this, but I think that's part of the agenda. To We collapse the economy, we raise inflation, everybody has to go to work, and everybody's going to be fo focused on actually producing for themselves and trying to stay alive and maintain their status quo, so to speak, versus being able to get involved and become active on, in, in this, this movement, this 2030 agenda, this backed by the World Economic Forum, United Nations, and this whole global, this, this group from France and so forth, this, this, this global, what they call elites, that feel that they know better than we do. And you can get into questioning even how 
accurate is climate change? Um, the actual control of weather. Is there actual control of weather? Do governments actually control the weather? Well, now a lot of evidence is coming out. Here's my point. Jordan Peterson has made a success on telling the truth and using history, going back all the way from these tyrannical governments where you're going to take in Stalin, you'll go even to Khrushchev, and you can go into Hitler, Mussolini, etc. You can run down the line. Xi Jinping, and you can go into to Mao, to, to China take over, you know, all this has, a, it's, a, it's all a, a similar way that the governments were able to deceive the population. Machiavelli, the, the famous the famous individual for, for deception, is known for saying, you tell a lie enough, the people begin to believe it. Even you begin to believe it. Even though you knew it was a lie from its origins. But you begin, to, you begin to find some sort of facts that can put in with that. Now you can say, well, conspiracy theorists run the same, the same, the same gamut, right? Well, I guess some do. There's this theorists, but we're finding a lot of these supposed conspiracy theorists that talked about the Red Scare and so forth, going all the way back in the '60s and '70s. Well, that wasn't a conspiracy theory. That actually was a. Now we're we're knowing facts. The book, The Naked Communist, actually is it revived itself. Um, the 5,000 Year Leap by the same author has revived itself and come out again uh, explaining something that or we're seeing now the results of what we're being warned against 50 years ago. And it wasn't a conspiracy theory. The whole JFK um, death, you know, the, his, what I'm going to call execution. Because now there's evidence comes out recently that was withheld in the Twitter files that show that the CIA really might have been involved. And there was and some sort of involvement there. So, what's my stand today? Well, why, why are we at DeFi IoT saying, hey, we need to make this stand on freedoms? Because Bitcoin in decentralized crypto, okay, not a, a digital type of currency, but a decentralized cryptocurrency, um, like Bitcoin, for example, not like Ethereum. Ethereum is very centralized. It means it's, it's, it's created by some sort of a creator or a company. It's like a share to a stock in a lot of areas. And that's why the SEC is coming down hard on a lot of these companies, the Security and Exchange Commission, because they're saying they're like shares. Well, the ones that actually run on a software, an algorithm that just that cannot be reprogrammed by some sort of head uh, uh, presidency or, or a shareholders, for example, uh, that somebody can control outside of a true Republican democracy, which Bitcoin is, right? We, the people of Bitcoin, anybody can get involved with it. Anybody can make a say in Bitcoin and it's controlled and run by the great populace of those who hold Bitcoin. Other cryptocurrencies are like that and they're encrypted. They're encrypted and protected. So not even the US government at this point can try to penetrate those. Now they're trying to create quantum computing that will be able to penetrate it. But, you know, I believe that the crypto industry will stay alive in trying to defeat that quantum computing so that we can maintain that free market and that free expression type of a community. And in that is blockchain. Let's all run on what's called blockchain, which we'll do a whole video on. But so blockchain is what we need to support. All businesses are gonna go forward in blockchain and web 3.0, I'm very sure of that. The, 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 it's very unlikely that we'll, we'll digress in technology. We're more going to, 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 to increase in technology and go forward with technology. And that has good and bad to it. And with more technology, it's easier to control also the citizens of the populace. Now, just in closing, to give you an idea of where that technology is going, you see 5G towers, right? Those those towers are lower towers. They got all these big, like, they're antennas, right? But they're like block antennas, and they're sitting on, this an, on these towers. You're seeing them go up everywhere for cell purposes and other purposes. It's not just for cell use. But you're noticing that they start at the top and they build down. They need to get those antennas lower so they can penetrate through housing and get in lower, and that will allow then a, a, an amount of that penetration and the smart TVs, the smart devices we have in our homes will then allow data information to be recorded in our homes. And that's all a fact. Not just your cell phone, but your microwave and your TV and your coffee maker, even your stove or your dishwasher. And even your toilet now, I've seen an intelligent toilet that sends the data back to its database. 
right? And that can all be used and is being used not by private companies only, but also by the government and the World Economic Forum, which is an NGO, right? A non-government organization that's controlling government because of the money behind it. So what's this mean for Jordan Peterson? He can lose his license because he's saying things that the governments don't like. He's telling the truth. He's stating history. We need to study our own history and we should actually stand up and write the government of, of Canada and say, hey, this is wrong, what you're doing. Will it make a difference? It might. It might be enough to make a difference not to take them out of power or even fe cause fear in them, but it'd be enough for us to gather together. And that's what's going to take, is us gathering together and unifying and doing our part. They have gathered together. They have paid people to be in these positions, the school districts, etc. I just had experience with my daughter's principal. That is another video I'll explain to you. Um, and where does this wrap in with cryptocurrency? Well, because that cryptocurrency or blockchain is what based on blockchain is what maintains that free market economy and therefore free speech. Other blockchain platforms such as social medias and so forth will also maintain that. Right now, Twitter's trying to maintain that, getting a lot of flack for it. So that's why we support blockchain and that's why the US government, other governments are so much against blockchain. They're calling it cryptocurrency because a cryptocurrency is what, what, is what gives the buoyancy to that blockchain. Kind of like a share does to the company, a, a, a business, right? You have the stocks, the shares, and that gives the buoyancy or the money or the foundation to that actual purpose of that company. Well, blockchain is a little bit different when it's decentralized, um, but people can still buy those cryptocurrencies and that supports that network. And all this hoopla on the energy consumption and so forth, it actually, that's false information. The mining that takes place, or what, or what we call mining with, with, with GPUs, graphics cards, or with these ASIC miners, these, these other big miners, a whole other, they actually plug them in, they do draw electricity, and they do create this, this network that the governments cannot penetrate. And that's the whole reason why it's the big spoof on this mining, because they can't, can, they can't penetrate that. That makes it decentralized. Decentralized data storage with SC Prime, for example, is another good opportunity to go forward. Now, they're kind of centralizing. They kind of have to because they don't need to play the game to be able to get the certain data amount they need to make it profitable. So investing in them is like investing in a stock. stock. And we'll talk about them another day. So DeFi IoT. Give us a thumbs up, please. Subscribe. We're trying to get 30000 I want to do this full time. I don't want to be going out and back to our contractor business. I was a contractor, I built up a nice company, I became a, uh, an executive for 12 years, and then I was just doing hard money loans, and I was a guide down in the Amazon jungle for sports fishing, which I still go down once in a while and do, so if you're interested in that, you know, give me a shout and we can set something up. Um, I just give me an excuse to go down there. DeFi IoT. I love decentralization. I love where we can communicate still, and I want to be able to maintain that communication. There's a lot of information out there now. There's new laws being passed. That they're going to block disinformation. So all of us have to qualify, including in Canada, which is the most draconian law that is right now in process, or that passed its first leg in the United States of America, included in this uh, Great Britain, the, uh, the European Union. They're all passing laws to restrict the content we can talk here. So we really need to maintain our ability to have freedom of speech if we want to know truth and not to be dictated to by governments. I've lived under these kind of governments for 20 years. I promise you that's not what we want. It really restrains your freedom. It's frustrating and it's a strain on your marriage and on your finances because you can't just go out and do what you want to do. You can't go out and be creative like we can do still here in America. We can still save America. DeFi IoT. We'll see you in the next video.